Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are cleaning an oven. Sounds like a good time. So we are gonna show you the way that we clean our oven with a completely eco-friendly way and we don't use harsh chemicals. We don't use the self-cleaning oven because frankly we tried that one time. There was a fireball that literally like inside the oven and then all the outsides got so hot that I was worried it was gonna burn the wood of the cabinets around it. And you cannot shut it off. Once you start that self-cleaning thing, that's like it's gonna finish or your house is gonna burn to the ground. One of the two, but either way it does work, but I'm not a fan of doing it. So what we use for our oven, when we are cleaning our oven, we use baking soda. Boom. We use water. I don't think I gotta show you that, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyways. Hopefully I don't spill it. Water. We use vinegar in a spray bottle. We like white vinegar for ours. It's messy. Rubber gloves, plus they look good. So I wear those. Two towels. So wiping everything down. The nice thing about this when you're done, you don't have any chemical smells. You're not inhaling any chemicals. You're not cooking food with whatever's left in those chemicals and it seeps into your food and you're eating it, your family's eating it, it's nasty. So you're not doing any of that. Baking soda, water, vinegar, towels, rubber gloves, boom, that's it. Let's show you how it's done. So here's all we have to do. We take a half a cup of baking soda, and this just doesn't have to be perfect, guys. You're making a paste, that's what you're doing. Putting it into a bowl, boop, okay? So you're doing that. And one thing I should note, just because people are crazy, I hope you're not one of them, but make sure your oven is cool and it's been off for a while. You don't want to be sticking your hands in there with rubber gloves on with a, you know, when the oven's still got some heat going on. So then you're just gonna mix this all up and keep mixing in a little bit of water in there until you make a paste. So you obviously want it, it looks like we're making drugs. We're not, we're making baking soda paste for cleaning an oven because that's the kind of way we like to party. So here we go, probably a little bit more. Doop. Oh, it's probably gonna be too much. I'm gonna have to go back to the baking soda. Jeepers. And the nice thing about this too is it's cheap, right? So some of those chemicals that you buy, wowzers, you know. The only bald guy you need to make this is me. So here we go. Mix that up there. Wowzers, look at that. That does look good. So I put on these nice white gloves. I know. Um, but one thing I wanted to note is you, you don't want to use a metal anything in here. I don't want, to, I want you guys to message me and say that you scraped up the inside of your oven and I'm a jerk, whatever. So I use a, I'm using a plastic spatula just to get my paste and to put my paste on, on this. You can see that we clearly spilled some things on here um, and we don't clean, we didn't clean it for a while. So you can see that we did that. This paste, you can work this paste into um, the door as well, on the glass as well. This isn't harsh, right? So you're just gonna kind of work your paste in there. Um, and you can use your hands. It doesn't really matter what you use here. But at the end of the day, this is what we're gonna do. Your paste is probably gonna turn brown. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because it, it's just one of those things where you're putting it on something that has been spilled and obviously been roasted on your oven. So it will probably do that, which is fine. So spread that out there. Depending on how bad your oven is, you might need to make more. You know. So I made a bunch more. Here, you can do this too. If you get bored of trying to do it with a paintbrush style thing. That's the benefit of having globes. So there you go. Kind of just working in there. And if you want to know if you're doing it right, you can ask your wife. I'm sure she'll tell you all the stuff you're doing wrong. Mine's doing that in the background. So, you know, it's too thick, not thick enough, whatever. Okay, so that's really step one. So step two is even easier. So you have to have, you know, a beer or two, because you did a job well done. And uh, close this up and sit for 12 hours and then we'll show you the next step. Okay, so we left it overnight and let's see what happens here. So we have our, still kind of, wet, right? So it's going to be wet a little bit. And what I would always do is, you know, where it's a little bit heavier, 
just kind of use a use something plastic or like you know it's not going to scratch the inside of your oven and it's just a little bit easier if you just do this to kind of get some of that off there so I'm just going to get it kind of the bigger stuff off with this spatula just so it doesn't I don't have to wipe it all with a towel but we're going to do this over the entire inside and get as much of it off as we can with just this and then we're going to wipe it down with a cloth okay so I have a damp rag and I'm gonna start from the back and kind of work my way forward here. But then uh, just use something damp and old cloth, of course, because it's gonna get uh, kind of nasty. You're gonna to have to use a little elbow grease to get some of these. I mean, if whatever we spilled here, <laughs> it's been there for a while and baked down really good. So you're gonna have to use a little elbow grease to kind of get it off, you know, with your rag. But use a little elbow grease to kind of get in there. And you're just going to have to keep rinsing your rag and keep going through this until you get all of it off. Okay, so I'm giving it one last wipe down here to get all the baking soda out. Okay, so as you can see, it cleaned it really well. So the last thing we have, a little spray bottle of vinegar. So um, it's really to kind of take that film off there and get that last little bit of clean out of it um, and that sort of thing. So we're gonna do that quick. And you can see it cleaned the glass really pretty well too. So it's got a little bit of a film on it yet. So that's where I'm assuming this works. So spray a little bit of vinegar around there, wipe it down with a dry towel. So I got a new dry towel, not the same towel. Um, and I'm gonna wipe it down one last time and see you and then we'll show you the final results. Okay, so that's it. As you can see, it did a really nice job of cleaning uh, the inside of the oven. Not a lot of scrubbing, like really having to get into there. But you can see there's a few spots that you'd probably want to go over again if you wanted to get it perfect, right? There's a few things that really burned in a little bit more. But overall, not a lot of scrubbing. Took everything off really, really well. It even cleaned the glass really well, which is something that usually is really hard. You definitely don't want to scratch the glass. So it did that really well as, as, as well. So that's it. Subscribe to our channel. Let us know if something worked for you. This is really a non-chemical based way to clean your oven. And, uh, and so we love that. Non-chemical is always good. Doesn't bake into your food. Uh, that sort of thing. So subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.